God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I saw no one can trouble people. God bless you. Yeah, I do church and I trouble people. That's right. God bless you. I suck your mother, man. God bless you again. Any more insults? Let me tell you, man. If you two men and do certain things again, God bless you. I want to come to the house of the one preacher, man. And they God man. bless you. I want to let you trouble, man. And God bless you again. He always bless me, fuck the boy. God bless you again. God bless you with long life and health and strength, man. God bless you with long life and health and strength, man. God bless you. The more insults you throw at me, the more blessings you get. Yeah, to take you on. Because if you're smoking weed, you're going to hell. Hell is your home. I don't know what else you're doing, but I see you smoking weed. You're going to hell when you die. Yeah. I'm here to speak to everyone, everybody up here. Nobody is exempt. I'm not afraid of anybody up here. I'm here to talk to everybody. I'm talking to you. If you are smoking weed, you're going to hell. No, I'm not. I'm not going to touch you. God bless you. God love me. Oh, God don't love you. God don't love you. You don't read the Bible. God don't love you. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 5 verse 5, God hates all those who do iniquity. Psalm chapter 5 verse 5, because you don't read your Bible, so you don't know your Bible. A lot of you don't know your Bible. The Bible says that God hates all those who do iniquity. Oh, I'm here until the light comes on. I'm here until the light comes on. I'm here until the light comes on. Because none of you are loved by God if you are living in sin. God bless you. God bless you. Because you've been told that God loves the sinner and hates the sin. That's a lie from the pit of hell, man. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 5, verse 5, God hates all those who do iniquity. You don't know your Bible. So if you're living in sin and you're not a Christian, God hates you. And God hates you too. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Hope you all enjoyed your weekend. Now I'm pretty sure that there's families out there where I cry. Families out there where I weep. Families out there where I mourn because they have lost a loved one over the weekend. Boy, I may I tell you, the old dirty kind of boy of them out there a rant and range. Now my peeps, in regards to that little video clip, that are played before the intro. In my view still, God love everybody because him reign on the just and also on the unjust. That are just my two cents towards that. Now, would I really want to drop some comments in the comment section as it relates to the young man's behavior towards the pastor and also the pastor's utterances towards the young man. Who you feel? Should be blamed if anybody drop some comments and make a ear won't answer. And as always, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Now, my peeps, in recent times, I did probably about two or three blogs about happenings, some knockings and clappings were going on over there in the Seaview Gardens community that is in the St. Andrew South Police Division. So for those who don't know which part them call Seaview, now Seaview had a community there, right as you pass, Red Stripe Beer there, so, by your left hand side, going in the direction of a Spanish Town. Now right when you reach the stoplight, on your left, you would have make the left turn there, go down in a Sea View Gardens. Right there, so the narcotics police headquarters, the same place. So, Sea View Gardens have a little uptick in violence in recent times. 
couple of men end up get dash way. A elder, another little man with them called Greeny Ball, portion of things are going at the place. But it is alleged that uh, the same man a go around and a knock them man there. Or if I know him, I'm cronies. Or basically, him have something to do with all knockings and clappings where recently I go on in the Seaview Gardens area. Now, I received a video yesterday of this brother here right now on your screen. Him get dash way. And I tell you, say, he not one of the wickedest way. You can see him lie down side of bike, pan him back. Whether a family member, I'm not sure if it's his mother or girlfriend, whatever the case may be, but a family member come there and I call him by name. Kenton, Kenton, get up where I beg you get up. And a portion to Jesus and a portion to this and a portion to that has been called down to rain upon him to see if they could revive and put back some life. In his body. But all of that happened to no avail. Kenton, Ghana shot our country land, no longer amongst the land of the living. Now it is alleged that a little youth with them call Andre come call Kenton in the night. Kenton come out and I will a reasoning with him. Now it is said that Andre put certain talk to Kenton basically. If you go mash a small works theme. Now you don't know in a Jamaica when time we say mash a small works. You don't know say that mean he the robbery or some sort of knockings and clappings. When time man say go mash works, it's not no legitimate job a man a carry you go deal with. No man, a man a carry you or send you to go deal with some sort of slackness, some sort of atrocity will be meted out to members of John public. So right away is request was not met by Kenton and Kenton went back to fix his bike. Now Kenton would have made mention of the incident with Andre and himself to a family member to which that family member would have said to Kenton say yo are the right thing you do. Nobody go get yourself in a mix up with a brother there because you know your name easy for call. Because it is also said that Kenton, no hundred percent straight neither. I went to Mr. Straight when I talk about the fishy type of business. He is not an angel, so to speak. Kenton's name would have been called once or twice upon some things where he have no business with either. So watch this now, my peeps. So right after the conversation with Kenton and Andre, Andre go away and return like the Jedi. Kenton was outside fixing his bike. Whether I fix it, wipe it down, clean it up, but he was paying much attention to the bike. Bend down and I deal with where I deal with on the bike. Now, to his surprise, as he wall up his head, pop, pop, pop. Here, man, may I tell you, Kenton spread out on him back. Ghana shot a country land, no longer amongst the land of the living. And all of this simply because Andre's request from Kenton was not met with a favorable response. So you see how the life in the garrison rough and wicked. You see how quick a friend can become an instantaneous enemy and come take a three pints just like that. Well, all of this took place right in front of his family members. Everybody stand up there and see where we go on. So we are going to see how all of uno, or if all of uno, really love and rate on a family. And uno are going to tell the police them exactly what happened and who carried out the act. We still not get no feedback from the police. Say uno cared enough to tell them who committed that act against the family members? And if no one is willing to step forward for their slain family member, whether or not he was involved, what I'm saying, it just goes to show the type of persons we all are as ghetto people, quote-unquote. Because sometimes, you know, we like the idea of peace 
and tranquility in our neighborhoods. But the process to get that peace there, nobody not willing to put in the work for peace reign in our communities. So my peeps, a lot of times I have to sit down and wonder if peace is what the people them really want or them just like the idea of having peace because nobody seems to want to put in the work that can bring forth peace in our communities. So my peeps, again, this is another wake-up call to Jamaicans. Don't take this thing lightly because you never know the time, never know the minute, never know the hour when this thing is going to come knock on our door. And you see, when it comes knock on our door, guess what? It's already too late. Yeah, man, man, them pick your feather, fly your bat, and send you through the gate. So as I always say, you know, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.